okay so hi guys in this lecture we'll be continuing on comparing compounds on their acidic strengths we'll see two more examples before jumping on to our next topic okay so let's get started so you have to compare the acid strengths of different hydrogen atoms in this compound So you have to compare the acidic strength of carbon num uh, let's say this is hydrogen atom A, B and C. So what would be the order? So you know this for this we have carboxylic acid, so no doubt carboxylic acids is the acids for which many of the compounds it's a second high priority number numbered acid in our priority list of organic acids so number a would be the first number b we have a primary amine a primary amine here and a secondary amine here so it which would be more acidic if i remove a hydrogen from this so this would uh, again based on our uh, list of uh, acidic strengths of organic compounds in which secondary amine is more acidic than primary amine okay so okay so now let's look at the last example where we have So you have to compare the acidic strength of or better let us let us let us react it with some compound NaNH2 so which hydrogen from all these acids acidic hydrogen would be removed so let's say I have two moles of this compound so which two hydrogen atoms would get would be getting removed so if you look at it we have a carboxylic acid or benzene carboxylic acid attached here and we have uh, OH with a nitro phenol with a nitro group attached to itself so the two hydrogen atoms which will be removed from this carb from this organic compound are this hydrogen and this hydrogen why and why I'm showing you this is this phenol will not be this phenol hydrogen which would not be more acidic than a phenol which is substituted with the NO2 group because this NO2 group creates a minus have impact effect on the phenol hence this hydrogen and this hydrogen would be removed okay so just a quick question and a fun question for you guys that the question is you know this is a compound which is known as squaric acid and the structure is something like this and you have to explain me why it is an experimental fact that pk1 for removing removing just removing the first hydrogen atom from this compound is 3 and pk2 means removing the second hydrogen atom from this organic compound when the first hydrogen atom was removed is 1 so you have to explain me why this phenomena so for your information i am just telling you or i am repeating that pk is that inverse proportional to the acidic strength so you have to explain me why removing first hydrogen atom from the organic compound is less acidic than removing the second hydrogen com hydrogen atom from the given compound so when you look at it you can easily see that since uh, the hydrogen and oxygen atoms are attached close to each other so i am introducing a concept known as hydrogen bonding we will look into the concept into more depth in our inorganic lectures but for now you can you can actually remember that O and H group can have internal hydrogen bonding within themselves within the intramolecular hydrogen bonding can happen due to which the removal of first hydrogen atom is less preferred now when I say 
so this just answers first part first part of the question so let me draw the structure when we actually lost one of the hydrogen atom already so why would this compound be more acidic this hydrogen would be more acidic because when i remove this hydrogen the resulting compound will be something like this and it will have four equivalent resonating structures four equivalent resonating structures you can see and draw by yourself that this can come here this can come here negative bond can come here similarly for all the four had all the four oxygen atoms hence the second oxygen removal is more acidic and more preferred than the first hydrogen removal the second hydrogen removal is more preferred than the first hydrogen removal okay so this completes our comparison of acidic strengths of organic acids so now let us look into the comparison of basic strengths so next topic is compare basic strengths okay so for comparing the basic strengths we have two methods which are namely the first one is by adding hydrogen to the base if conjugate acid formed is more stable then stronger is the base so i'll just write it for the documentation sake and for a more clearer and a better understanding that by adding hydrogen to the base if the conjugate acid formed formed is more stable is more stable then stronger is the base okay or the second way of putting the same statement is if more delocalization of the molecule of the molecule takes place in the conjugate acid that means more stability or less electron giving tendency that implies it's a weak base so the second way of putting it for the weak base not for the strong acid you can also put it like the strong acid way also it would also mean the same thing so if more delocalization of the molecule is there more stability of the base hence less electron giving tendency of is there for the weak base so what is a weak base so weak base is if there is more delocalization of electrons in the organic compound then it implies it has less electron giving tendency see hence it's a weak base so delocalized lone pair in all the aromatic compounds we have something like delocalized lone pairs or pi bonds this implies they are weak bases they are already too much involved in themselves that they don't care about the world because they are themselves stable completely stable just like yogis okay so pardon me for the bad example but that was the factual thing okay so we have a base and a h plus we will get something like this so this is if this is stable then this gives rise to our second condition but if this is i beg your pardon if this is stable then this gives rise to our second condition and if this is stable the acid formed or the conjugate acid formed is stable then this gives rise to our first condition first condition this is the second condition example of first condition this is the example of second condition okay so let us look at what is a pkv value 
so as we have for acids the pka value we have for bases pkb value which is inversely proportional to the basic strength and similarly we had k value which was directly proportional to the acidic strength here we have kb value which is directly proportional to the basic strength so just remember this you will you will get to remember this directly or without any flaw when you just when you just practice more and more on these lines so you don't have to remember all of these concepts just have to pay attention in this lectures and later you these things will come automatically to you so as for acidic strength which was directly proportional to the minus m minus h or minus i groups attached to it for basic strength it's just directly proportional to the plus m plus h or plus i groups directly attached to them so just remember this thing also okay so now as we always do examples after we have done with the conceptual part so the fun part starts now so let us compare the basic strengths of the following organic compounds lone pair here and okay uh, ns2 or a secondary i mean here what is more basic this is enjoying in itself with the resonating structures and everything this compound does not care anything about the world it is a yogi hence this is more basic it is actually engaged in worldly activities giving its lone pair if it has something it 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 actually believes in donating some of the lone pairs to the atoms or molecules or ions which are less or which are electron deficient so it believes in charity so b is more as basic than a let's let's look into this example where we have and no2 group attached and second the comparator second part is ns2 and o cs3 group here so as i said plus m plus h plus i is that lip proportional to will actually increase the basic strength and in this case plus m group is attached how so ever it is plus minus i also but who cares plus m is given higher priority or resonance is given higher priority than hyperconjugation effect than inductive effect so plus m is higher priority is at higher priority hence b is this more acidic in this case let us look into this example we have this then this and finally we have a primary amine so what is the order of st acidic strength this is more electronegative than this and this so obviously cba would be the order why this this actually believes in charity because it has lone pair and nowhere the lone pair can go but in this it is already a beggar why because it is already sp2 hybridized and it is already searching for more electrons to give or it is more hungry than this so it is slightly less uh, believer in a believer in charity and this is what to say about it this is the least okay so let's look at some more examples before that let, let me just write a rule of thumb that more as character more electronegative more less basic because of this thing more as character why do i always say that more as character more as character because when there is a more as character then actually the electrons are more nearer to the nucleus and if they are more nearer to, to the to the nucleus they are less believer in actually donating uh, their electron pairs to some some other compound or molecule hence by if they are more if they are having more as character they are more closely bound to the nucleus or to the atom right so more as character more electronegative and less basic okay okay let's continue with our on our fourth example we have a pyridine i hope you remember the structure of pyridine we have pyrrol pyrrol is just a five member ring and we have okay so first let's compare on these two only which is more acidic so 
for answering that we have to consult that uh, in this case when you look, look at the resonating structures of this this is obviously both are both are uh, uh, both are aromatic compounds no doubt about that but if you look at the resonating structures in this actually a positive charge comes into this because it is donating its electrons to to in the in the chain in the ring hence this is this will be less acidic this will be this will be less basic and pyridine would be more basic okay we have aniline and we have pyridine so in this case which is more basic so as you can see that in this case though in this case electrons are donated in the benzene ring just for the just for increasing the number of covalent bonds or in or having the resonating structures but in this case for getting this compound aromatic note nitrogen has to donate its pi electrons in the ring just for the compound overall compound to make it aromatic hence this nitrogen sloan pair are involved within the intramolecular they are having a less tendency to go and support any external molecule which is looking for a electron pair hence this is more basic okay so let us look into this example this one and this one so what is more basic okay let's put okay let's put uh, not oxygen let it be carbon atom only so which is more uh, basic in this case so in this case both are aromatic both are having equivalent rs let's compare hyperconjugation is cannot be possible in this case then the only effect which we can talk about is inductive effect okay so in this compound as there is a carbon atom here and nitrogen atom here there is more minus i effect on the ring because of this nitrogen atom and there is my or there is no inductive effect or it is only plus i only of this carbon atom hence this is more basic than this because it would have more power to donate its pair of electrons let us look into the seventh example wherein we have this and this okay so here you can see that according to brad soul if you remember that it's a eight member ring oh if the member ring is less than equal to eight and in this case even two three four five six seven it is a seven member ring hence the bridge head carbon cannot be sp2 hybridized right so in this case it cannot actually donate its lone pair into the formation of something like it cannot actually uh, have a lone pair pi bond conjugation as in this case and this case this is a pi bond and it has lone pair so it cannot go actually like this it cannot go like this right but in this case if we have a oxygen atom here it can actually go in con go in um, what is known as conjugation or resonating conjugation structures right so so am i right when i'm saying that it cannot give the lone pair to the double bond as it will lose its sp3 hybridization no 
because the reason why i'm telling is this actually cannot be sp2 hybridized but even when it it actually donates its lone pair to have a double bond here with here with oxygen oxygen atom or oxygen bond actually breaking and giving the negative charge to the oxygen even then it will still be sp2 hybridized uh, sp3 hybridized so how and in the both cases brad's rule is not validated obviously this is not the case for a brad's rule because it is not a bridged carbon here so it can actually go into the pi bond conjugation so then you need to compare which is more basic this is more basic why because of presence of cs3 group and what does cs3 group here is plus do is plus i effect of cs3 group actually makes this compound more basic so let's move into the next example we have and next group here so which is more basic so if you look at this in this case nitrogen would have a positive charge when actually it goes in the resonating structure of this so and in this case the ring is obviously having a resonance with within itself itself so it is it does not require that, that much assistance from nitrogen to give its assistance for making resonating structure so hence this is more basic and also uh, amide are weak bases as lone pair is involved in resonance with the oxygen atom okay so let's say in this case what would be the order of basic strength we have again a brad sol compound it is already sp3 hybridized so no point no and even when it donates it it will still remain sp3 so brad sol will not be violated okay no brad violation so then which is more basic you know nitrogen here in has three more bulky groups attached to itself which is et et and et and it's have a lone pair here as well so this steric hindrance actually lowers its basic strength to give its lone pair to some acceptor so hence the basic strength would be of this order okay so with this we come to the end of this lecture and in the next lecture we will talk about amine inversion